Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. Moving into Colossians chapter 4 today as we wrap up this uh, letter, this last chapter of the letter to the church at Colossae from Paul. Um, he continues in verse 1 with uh, just a little, uh, I guess, link back to the previous chapter. Verse one, he says, masters, be fair and just to your slaves. Remember that you also have a master in heaven. Obviously, he's talking about relationships here. He's talking about the work relationship. He's talking about the uh, the relationships that we have with one another. And, and remember yesterday, he said, do everything that you do as if you were doing it for the Lord. So imagine if we, in all our relationships, how we treat people, how we interact with people, if we had the thought that we were doing it as to the Lord, how different would those relationships be? Continuing in verse two, he says, devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Pray for us too, that God will give us many opportunities to speak about his mysterious plan concerning Christ. That is why I'm here in chains. Pray that I will proclaim this message as clearly as I should. Let's stop there for a second. So verses two through four, the word that continually pops up, the recurring word is the word pray. Um, we've talked about this before in the past and I, I continue to say, I do not believe that we as believers fully understand the benefits of prayer. We don't uh, tap into it as we should. Um, Paul says that we should devote ourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. So prayer is important. Prayer is key. Be serious about it. He encourages us to pray for one another's and that one another that God would give us, give us all opportunities to speak about his mysterious plan concerning Christ. When was the last time you asked God as you started a day? for opportunities to speak to someone about Christ. Even if it's just something incredibly simple, not a deep theological conversation, but something simple that you could speak to somebody about Christ. When was the last time you, you did that? Um, and then finally he says in verse four, pray that I will proclaim this message as clearly as I should. As we ask for opportunities, we should pray that we would be clear and um, concise and loving in how we proclaim the gospel. Continuing in verses five and six, he says, live wisely among those who are not believers and make the most of every, every opportunity. Let your conversation be gracious and attractive so that you will have the right response for everyone. Again, he is talking about the mingling of the message of the gospel with how we treat one another. We will not win people to Christ by beating them over the head with the message of, of Christ. Instead, we would do as Jesus did. We would love people right where they are. We would um, comfort them right where, where they are, accept them right where they are, but but, and this is key, as we do that, as we love them, we would not hold back. We would not um, keep ourselves from proclaiming the truth in their lives. This is what Jesus did. He met people where, he, where they were. He loved them. But then he made sure that he set them straight, set them on the right path. And that is what you and I have been called to do as well. It's a fine line. It's something that takes a lot of prayer, a lot of effort, and a lot of depending on the Holy Spirit. But if we will do these things, we will see lives changed because of Jesus. Let's pray together. Father, we come to you on this uh, new morning. We thank you that your mercies are new every day. We thank you that yesterday is gone and we don't have to worry about it. We can look forward to today and to the future. So help us to do that today as we pray 
as we pray for one another, as we lift one another up, help us to be wise in our relationships, wise in our conversations, and help us, Lord, to do what Paul said, do what Paul encouraged us to do, and what Jesus gave, gave us the example of, to share the gospel in such a way that people will, will be loved, and yet that they would understand the truth of who Jesus is at the same time. Thank you today for the opportunities you will give us. Help us to be wise in our conversation as you give us those opportunities. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, have a fantastic Friday. Um, as always, remember, uh, TGIF, today, God is first. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.